welcome back to our course on Hindu art and architecture. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the Shakti iconography and specifically we are going to discuss about three main deities that is Durga, Kali and the Saptamatrikas. There are various other forms of the goddess for which I will be providing you with a number of references. Let us begin with the introduction and the mother goddess worship. Mother which is an integral part of our society and our lives and mother has been worshipped since the ancient times. Worship of mother goddesses, it is a very important phenomena and it was present in all the ancient cultures and civilizations. Images of terracotta, stone, paintings on pottery and other figurines have been found from places like Harappa, Mohenjo-daro, Palestine, Crete, the Mesopotamian sites, Egypt, Turkey, Iran, Iraq and many other sites. A highly uh, stylized form of images of mother goddesses were found from the Zob Valley, Quetta Valley and a terracotta image of mother goddess was also found from Mehergarh from Balochistan. Mother goddess figures have been discovered from the Indus Valley civilization as well. They are in the form of terracotta images along with sometimes present in the seals and ceilings of the Harappans. There was a distinct uh, discovery of clay mother goddess from Inamgaon near Pune which is a Chalcolithic site. Evidences of mother goddess worship and the prevalence of mother goddess was also found during the historic and the early historic period in which during the period of the Kushanas, the Guptas, the um, Scythians we get the evidences on their gold coins as the form of the Lakshmi, Simhavasini, Mahishmardini and many more. Durga Durga is mentioned in the Tatirya Aranya and she is also called as Ambika or Uma and she is always referred as the wife of Shiva which is we can make out that the Shakta cult or the Shakta Sampradaya was much more related to Shaivism and still it follows the same. The Hari Vamsha mentions Durga as Vidya Vasini which means a person living in the Vindhyas or the Vindhyan ranges. Mahabharat mentions Durga as a four-armed goddess. So the important ayuts or the attributes of the goddess is that of Trishula along with a khadak and a shield and she also holds a vajra. She is often depicted as Simhavahini Devi which means she is riding a lion or sometimes she also rides a tiger and she wears a Karanda Mukuta which is a type of a headdress for the goddesses. The next goddess is that of Kali. Kali is always depicted in a ferocious form and she is a ferocious goddess herself. And she came out due to a story. There are a number of mythological stories related to her uh, existence. That Which story which I have heard it from my childhood that there was a demon named Rakta Pija and whenever a person or a god is to try to kill Rakta Pija, wherever the drop of his blood uh, fell, 100 Rakta Pijas uh, would emerge. So that for that reason, reasons, the days or the gods were not able to uh, devour uh, the demon Rakta Pija. In that case, Devi uh, made, a, she with her own powers, she created another attribute out, out of herself, which is the ferocious form, which is Kali. And she has been already been depicted very angry. She is vain. She is emancipated. She, is, uh, she wears a skull um, mala. She wears a skull necklace. She wears the uh, skulls in her uh, waist. She holds a small bowl. She holds the khadag in her hand. She holds the naramundi or the uh, head of a human in her hand. And uh, she also uh, holds a sword in her hand. And what she, what happened that uh, she uh, went to the uh, battle and uh, she cut the head of Rakta Pija and she drank the blood so that the blood won't fall on the ground and new Rakta Pijas would 
not emerge. So in that case, she became so furious, she, she became so angry that the gods were not even able to stop her even after the battle ended. In that case, all, uh, uh, all the other gods and goddesses came to Shiva and asked him to kindly stop your wife as I told you that... Uh, Devi itself is uh, like she's the counterpart of Shiva. So everybody came and said that, okay, please stop her because the battle is ended. Everything, she's destroying everything. In that case, what Shiva did, she, uh, Shiva came and he laid on the floor. And when um, Kali was in angry and she was ferociously walking, she kept her leg on the uh, Shiva's chest. In that case, she became, she became very calm and she just felt that oh my god I have kept my uh, leg on my husband's chest and that is a sin I have done in that case in shame in uh, in Lacha her tongue came out uh, and uh, she was very calm so with, this is the story about Kali and why her tongue is out but there are other mythological stories even related to uh, the existence of Kali and this this was one of the stories so uh, she is armed with a sword and nose iconographically she also wears the skull cap she holds uh, she also wears a garland of the skull she is clad in tiger skin with gaping mouth her tongue is lolling out and this uh, description is available in the Devi Mahatmya. The next group is that of the Saptamatrikas or the Seven Mathas. So, uh, it, the Saptamatrikas have been prevalent since the Indus Valley Civilization. Uh, whether it was actually the Saptamatrika, it is not known. But from the seal, you can make it that there are seven mothers standing there in the front of some um, sacrif uh, sacrificial ritual. So, from there, it is traced that the Saptamatrika must have been uh, followed from such an ancient age. So, Saptamatrikas are the seven mothers and they are the powers or the attributes of the male uh, gods and goddesses. So, the story of the seven mothers are also found in the Varaha and the Kurma Purana and few were in the Agamas. So, they are initially uh, depicted as seated and standing and in the later period with the development of the art and iconography and the patronage of various dynasties, the Saptamatrikas were shown with their own vahanas or their mouths and with a baby in their hand or a child in their hand since they are mothers so uh, the, the the names can be uh, indrani who is the power of indra then we have uh, agni so his power indri we have uh, then if you see uh, the power of kartik he is called kumar his power is called kaumari so how do we identify that this um, baby or this matruka is related to with this so with the presence of the vahanas or the mouths like kaumari will be with the presence of a peacock and peacock is the vahana of the kumar or kartikya itself so we can make out that this uh, goddess is the power or the shakti of this god so this was all about the matrukas this was all about the iconography of Shakti and her various forms. In the next class, we are going to discuss about the folk deities or the major and minor deities and their iconographies.